Keith Dixon wanted was a sparkly new kitchen. What he got was a mess. He tore out the floor, dismantled the cabinets, and hacked up the window trim. He has done a lot to our place, and he's learned a lot, um, but I think he thinks that he knows more than he actually knows. Well, with a little help from Team OIH, now Keith does know more than he thinks he knows. I think. While Josh finishes installing the subfloor, it's time to talk tile. We know Keith and Leanna want commercial grade vinyl, but Keith still must decide on pattern and color. Three choices, beautiful all in their own right. Choice number one, a field of gray tile. It's warm, it's unified, one color only. Your daughter can't really do anything to this. She can crawl around on this, it's easy to clean, I she love it. Try, but, yep. Okay, choice number one. Okay. Choice number two, this is the classic checkerboard. I mean, come on, I love it. Fun, easy to lay, checkerboard pattern, okay? Gives it that feel of a diner. Choice number three, more of a random feeling. It's gonna be mostly gray, but occasionally there'll be some sprinkles of black and blue in there as well. Keep in mind that, you know, your wife's obviously not here. Think about what she might be interested in. It's kind of a pattern, but kind of random. It's mostly just like streaky, speckly, different. I don't really know how to describe it. Out of all the three, I think I'm, I'm most attracted to this one, actually. Really? Yeah, I, I really like the blue. Who doesn't? I really like the black. Mm -hmm. I really like the gray. Occasional random. Occasional random. Now, my question in random, how random are you? Do you just throw it down wherever, or you think about it being random? In my opinion, yeah. I think um, a, a good random pattern to, to succeed at being random is well thought out. Congratulations, you're a wise you. man. So, graphic designer Keith spends the evening at his computer planning out his random pattern. On day three, Josh has the subfloor down, and they're ready to snap some chalk lines to prepare for tile. So we're going to snap it here so we can get the center of our room, tile ourselves right on out of here, but we'll have a nice starting center point. Wow, Keith, that was stunning. Keith pulls out his non-random, random secret weapon. Josh, I've laid out the pattern on my computer here. It'll be kind of easy for us to reference and make sure that we get the tiles with that occasional randomness. Random or not, you can't lay vinyl tile without a V-notch trowel and latex-based tile adhesive. Don't be scared, don't be afraid. Okay, here we go. You just push it around with your trowel, all right? See how it makes the little raised grooves? Now, you don't want to get too far outside the lines of where you're going to be laying. You want to just go, you know, a little bit, a couple tiles in advance. And there is a back to these. One side's kind of matte and one side's shiny. Good to know. We obviously want to do the shiny side up. The boys slop down some tile adhesive, wait about 15 minutes for it to get nice and tacky, and then start laying tiles according to Keith's pattern. If you don't work faster, Keith, I'm going to tile you into the corner. <laughs> you can do that. I'm looking forward to seeing Leanna's reaction. I think she's really going to like the floor um, with, the, with the pattern, or the lack of pattern, whatever you want to call it. I think she's, she's going to be happy. Hey, Keith, I noticed you got a little gap over there. I do have a little gap over here. Yeah, you want to see how to solve it? I'd love to. Now, this is a tile chopper. OK, this goes right up in there. So use the factory edge on this side. We'll hide the other side, the cut side, underneath the, the base molding. How's right. that? That's just a great idea. Heck yeah, it is. With that knowledge, the rest of the floor goes down pretty easy. Yeah, how's that? All right, let's get out of here. It looks beautiful. Day four, the tiles have had a chance to set overnight. The boys start painting the kitchen a bright white. And then Keith breaks out something a little different. I was looking around, Keith. White, white, white. Yep, white, black, what? Black. black. What is this? This is magnetic paint. It makes um, the surface so that you can stick a magnet to it. And so then I'll have like a magnetic chalkboard, and I can stick some magnets, keep it like a grocery list. Yeah. I'll write notes to my loved ones. Hey, that sounds like a pretty good idea. You like I that? I think I'd buy that. Hang in there, Keith. You're in the home stretch, and your wife is going to thank you. I don't really cook, but maybe I'll start if it's really nice. Coming up, Keith gets a shot at redemption. Hope these all fit. Plus, Liana is rewarded for her patience. <laughs>